Switching gears here, presidential hopeful Bernie Sanders says he will release government information about UFOs if he wins. The Vermont senator recently sat down with Joe Rogan for his podcast and said it was his wife Jane who pressed him to do so. This on the heels of the renewed interest in Area 51, the event page which Facebook has since taken down, and numerous military aviators reporting sightings in the air. Joining us now to discuss, legal and media analyst Lionel of Lionel Media. Uh, Lionel, my friend, first, address this claim from Bernie Sanders. Do you buy it that he'll release this trove of information, and, and what do you think will be revealed? No. He's on Joe Rogan, and I guess instead of firing up a spliff or perhaps uh, <laughs> providing a, a stream of uh, F-bombs, he's got to say something that might perhaps connect with Joe's audience, and this is the best that he can get. Let me say something very clearly. The President of the United States has absolutely nothing to do with this. There are levels above top secret that every president has never seen before. So this is just poppycock, as <laughs> Joe Biden would say. I see. Okay, so this is just Bernie Sanders trying to connect with the young, hip listeners. Okay, so... <laughs> something. Something like that. So right. to the viewers unfamiliar with you, I don't know how they could be unfamiliar with you, you have studied this topic for many years. Uh, you and I have actually talked about this stuff through the years. You, along with a lot of other people, believe that this sort of uh, information is kind of the Watergate for the new millennium. Why? The, uh, the phrase was a cone, a coined by uh, one of the great uh, ufologists, Stanton Friedman, that the notion of flying saucers or, or, or whatever you want to call it, EBEs, extraterrestrial biological entities, uh, whatever UFOs, aliens, whatever works for you, that this is the most important story that is hidden, that is the most verboten, vanilla third rail subject there is. It is, the, you could talk about any quote conspiracy theory, that term which has been overused, sure. but there isn't a newsroom, with the exception of, of course, you, but anywhere that would even let you remotely address this unless you made fun of it, Sure. mocked it or in some way dismissed it as something, you know, um, um, faddish, if you will.